The Airbus 380, widely recognized as the world's largest commercial aircraft, is renowned for comfortability, accommodating an average of 555 passengers across three distinct cabin classes. Moreover, it boasts a maximum certified capacity of 853 passengers when configured entirely for economy seating. But do you know that this Airbus never saw the light of day? In today's video, we'll discuss the Airbus A380 and why it could be a revolution. Let's delve into the captivating possibilities that this ambitious project could have shown. What was the Airbus A380 stretch? In a bold and audacious move, Airbus embarked on an extraordinary mission to redefine the very limits of aviation with the introduction of not one, but two groundbreaking extensions to their iconic A380 aircraft the A380-200 and the awe-inspiring A380-900. This visionary undertaking was nothing short of a revolution in aviation aimed at pushing the boundaries of what was thought possible. It was a daring leap forward to address the ever-evolving needs of the aviation industry, from soaring passenger demand to the quest for superior performance on a global scale. Picture this. The A380-200, an ingenious extension of the A380, was designed to transform the aircraft into a behemoth of the skies, boasting an unprecedented seating capacity that could accommodate a staggering 656 passengers in a luxurious three-class configuration. This audacious concept captured the imagination of airlines worldwide, offering a tantalizing glimpse into a future where the sky was indeed the limit. But the story didn't stop there. In 2007, Airbus took this audacity to new heights with the grand unveiling of the A380-900. This remarkable innovation represented a colossal leap beyond the already impressive A380-800 model, promising a world where aviation dreams knew no bounds. With the A380-900, Airbus not only met but exceeded the evolving demands of the aviation industry, setting a new standard for performance, luxury and passenger comfort. In an industry that thrives on innovation and imagination, Airbus's bold move to expand the A380 family left an indelible mark on the history of aviation. It was a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of excellence in the ever-expanding skies, making the A380-200 and A380-900 aircraft legends in the making. This development underscored Airbus's commitment to offering innovative solutions to cater to the diverse needs of the airline industry. The A380-900 could seat an astonishing 900 passengers in an all-economy configuration. Love interest of many airlines. A380-900 generated considerable interest from a range of prominent airlines and air leasing companies, including Emirates. As one of the world's largest airlines, Emirates expressed significant interest in the A380-900. Eventually, they expressed interest and became the leading operator of the A380, boasting the largest A380 fleet globally. Virgin Atlantic. Known for its pioneering approach to aviation, Virgin was among the airlines considering the incorporation of the A380-900 into their operational strategies. Cathay Pacific. The Hong Kong-based carrier explored the A380-900's potential to elevate its long-haul flight services, recognizing the manifold advantages it could bring to its flight offerings. Within the Air France KLM group, both Air France and KLM exhibited keen interest in the A380-900 identifying it as a valuable asset for expanding and diversifying their respective fleets. Lufthansa, one of Europe's premier carriers, conducted a comprehensive assessment of the A380-900 as a solution to meet the escalating demand for long-haul flights, acknowledging the aircraft's substantial capacity and advanced capabilities. Meanwhile, Kingfisher Airlines, an Indian aviation provider, took proactive measures to assess the feasibility of introducing the A380-900 into its fleet. The airline envisioned the potential benefits of enhanced passenger capacity and an expanded array of long-haul flight options as key drivers for this consideration. These airlines, each distinct in their strategic positioning and aspirations within the aviation sector, conducted thorough evaluations of the A380-900, recognizing it as a prospective disruptor in long-haul travel. Later, many of these carriers emerged as influential contributors to the operational legacy of the A380. Airbus faced a setback when they had to delay their proposed orders due to their commitment to delivering the original A380-800 variant. However, a turning point came with the introduction of the NEL program for the A320, which prompted Airbus to revisit its plans for an extended version of the Airbus A380. 
Their strategy involved developing an A380neo to enhance the aircraft's fuel efficiency. Following the success of this effort, Airbus aimed to introduce the A380-900, a stretched version of the A380. Rumours even circulated that Airbus was contemplating an even more ambitious project, the A380-1000 stretch, designed to accommodate 200 additional seats, thus exceeding 1,000 passengers. This concept carried the allure of securing the world's highest capacity commercial aircraft, which could be seen as a prestigious achievement for any airline. However, fate had other plans. The A380 was gradually phased out and retired from service, ultimately extinguishing the prospects of realizing a massive A380 with increased capacity. Why was it never built? The primary reason Airbus chose not to go forward with the development of the A380-900 was the need for more significant demand in the market. Managing the existing A380 program had proven to be a substantial challenge, and considering a larger version became economically unfeasible. Some specialists and aviation fans have proposed that Airbus might have made a more strategic judgment by initially offering the A380-900 instead of the smaller A380-800. Such an action could have positioned the aircraft in a more advantaged competitive place when it resembled Boeing 747-8 and the 777X models. However, it's important to note that aircraft development decisions involve complex considerations, including market trends, customer preferences, and production capabilities. Despite subsequent challenges, Airbus's choice to start with the A380-800 reflected their assessment of the market landscape at the time. The potential utility of the A380 stretch was limited to a handful of markets. One of the most promising markets was China. Given its enormous population and ambitious plans to construct hundreds of new airports in the near future, there was a clear niche for a high-capacity aircraft like the A380 stretch. In particular, densely traveled routes like Beijing to Shanghai stood out as prime candidates for such a massive aircraft. The capacity of the A380 stretch would have been particularly advantageous in serving these heavily trafficked routes, potentially providing substantial efficiency and passenger capacity benefits. Another promising region for the A380 stretch was India. Similar to China, India's vast population and increasing demand for air travel presented a compelling case for a large capacity aircraft. Moreover, India's aviation market is known for its intense competition and price sensitivity, making the A380 stretch's exceptional fuel efficiency per seat attractive. India's travel landscape also offered opportunities for the A380 stretch. Popular routes like the one connecting Seoul's Gimpo Airport to Jeju Island, the busiest route globally with over 16 million passengers in 2022, could have effectively utilized the A380 stretch. Its substantial passenger capacity could have addressed the high demand on such routes and potentially brought cost efficiencies to the fiercely competitive Indian aviation market. Additionally, airlines specializing in transporting Muslim pilgrims to Mecca were highly likely to be interested in acquiring the A380 stretch. Carriers such as Malaysia Airlines, Lion Air and other airlines based in predominantly Muslim nations could have found the aircraft particularly suitable for this purpose. In particular, these airlines might have considered configuring the A380 stretch in an all-economy layout to accommodate as many faithful pilgrims as possible. Passengers embarking on the journey to Mecca often view it as a demanding test of their faith. Thus, they might have accepted a densely packed seating arrangement. This configuration could have aligned well with the specific needs of religious pilgrims and could have been a valuable asset for airlines serving this market. Is there a future for a stretched A380? As approximately half of the global A380 fleet has been reintroduced into service after the pandemic, the idea of a stretched A380 is again being considered. However, it appears highly unlikely that Airbus would resurrect the A380 program, which was already experiencing financial losses with the standard A380-800 variant to develop an even larger aircraft. Naturally, the most likely prospective customer for this endeavor would be Emirates, given that they currently maintain the world's largest A380 fleet, significantly surpassing other operators in terms of numbers. In a conversation with CNN in 2022, Sir Tim Clark, the CEO of Emirates, expressed keen interest in acquiring another large Airbus aircraft. Moreover, in discussions held just last month at the Paris Air Forum, Mr. Clark once again expressed his strong interest in making such an investment. However, his inclination toward favoring an enhanced and engineered iteration of the A380, known as the A380neo, is particularly significant. This redesigned version is meticulously engineered to achieve superior fuel efficiency and incorporate cutting-edge technological advancements, deviating from merely extending the aircraft's configuration. It's worth mentioning that Russia had embarked on developing its own colossal jumbo jet capable of accommodating up to a thousand passengers. 
even before the A380 became a reality. However, this ambitious project, known as the Sukhoi KR860, ultimately remained in the conceptual stage and never advanced beyond the initial design phase, never seeing the light of day as a functional aircraft. And that's our take on the Airbus A380. If you liked today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.